One of the ways that we're going to do multiplication in class is using the partial products method. So let me show you real fast how we do partial products. You take a problem such as 123 times 4. What we're going to do is we're going to be using the place value of each one of these numbers. So what we're talking about is what is the value of each digit. So what the students have to do is apply everything they've learned about place value starting in first grade all the way through fourth grade. Now what we're going to do is we're going to say that this is not a 1, this is 100. So it's 100 times 4, that would give us 400. This is not 2, but 20 times 4, which is 80. And this is just 3, 3 times 4, which is 12. We add these up and we get 492 as our answer. Okay, so again, this is called partial products, or as I like to talk with my students, the PP method. They like that a lot. So let's do another one. Let's go double digit. Let's go 35 times 42. Okay, so I'm going to start with basically like kind of how we would do in the traditional algorithm. We're going to go in that same order, the up and the over. So I'm going to first do 2 times 5. 2 times 5 equals 10. I'm going to line these numbers up by place value so that I can add them up nice and easy at the end. Then I'm going to go 2 times 30. Not a 3, but that's worth 30. So 2 times 30, and that would be 60. Now I'm going to go 40. That's a 40. 40 times 5, and that's 200. And then I'm going to do 40 times 30. And that is 1,200. This is a 2. Okay, and then I add these up. And if you line it up by place value, it makes it nice and easy. You don't have to rewrite the numbers. We've got 7, 2, 4, and this is a 1. So our answer is 1,470. So that's how you solve multiplication problems using the partial products method.